<laughs> uh, welcome back to Everything from Nothing, Ireland's most uh, yellow Vi- podcast. It's be violent podcast. Violent podcast. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it could kick off here at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> the tension is building. <laughs> uh, today we're joined by Liam Devaney. Uh, who's a fighter? Who specifically is an MMA? What, the, all the letters and stuff always confuse me. I look like, kickboxing and Muay Thai. Okay, kickboxing. Really, yeah, okay, yeah, right. Kickboxing right. and Muay Thai. I do jujitsu as well now, which is so maybe MMA in the future. But okay. kickboxing and Muay Thai for now. Like. So I always got that confused. So MMA. I don't know why I thought that. I thought mixed martial arts. So that's a completely different thing, not a subhead. Like uh, uh, no, no. You're. Like, I mean, you're kind of right. Like it, MMA is again mixed martial arts. So like yeah, anyone. Like you can have kickboxers, Muay Thai fighters, jiu-jitsu uh, players. You could have wrestlers. It's it's basically oh, everything. That's oh, oh I yeah, get cool. that now. Yeah, just crammed oh, into right. one. So like you'll you'll see some guys that are like really heavy in wrestling, um, yeah. and then they might just like learn how to do a few punches of kicks or whatever and do really good. I mean, Khabib's a really good example. Of yeah, that. yeah. I mean, he's definitely wrestling dominant. But then you have the likes of like maybe Wonder Boy, uh, like he's more kind of like karate slash taekwondo based. Um, yeah. Now again. He still needs to know how to to wrestle a bit because otherwise you just get mauled in there. Like, but that's mad. I I yeah. didn't realize that, that that like even knowing that makes it way more entertaining. Like, I don't know. Like, uh, do you do you find like, is that so that does that make that like is that like the hardest one to get into then because you're trying to mix all of them? I think so. Yeah. yeah like, I mean, re- and they're also five minute rounds as well. Like, and I even know just from doing the jujitsu. Like, I haven't done wrestling or anything, but yeah, jujitsu. Like, just with all like the the submissions and stuff. Like rolling around with a fella on the ground, like and and having his body weight like yeah. pressed down on top of you, like it's so much more tiring. Like yeah, I mean, yeah. kickboxing Muay Thai is grand because mm. you just punch and kick. Now saying that, I mean, like it is still quite tiring, but when you just have someone's entire body weight yeah. just squishing you, that like, is mental. I've rolled with like purple belts and black belts, and first time I rolled with a black belt, he literally just did like knee on belly, which is exactly how it sounds. Just put his knee on my belly. Okay. And <laughs> I was rigging around like a fish and he was coaching the rest of the class. Wow. Literally, like He could have sat there, made a cup of tea. That's mad. And, and like, I couldn't do anything. The That's control mental. they have is crazy. Wow. That's mad. And in any of your f- fights, so wait, well, so you had a fight well, last week? Last or? weekend, yeah. Yeah, what, yeah. under what car is that? That Muay Thai? was uh, C-class Muay Thai rules. C-class Muay Thai. So again, the only difference with the C-class, B-class and A-class in Muay Thai is C-class is um, slightly more like kickboxing as in like you can only punch kick and knee to the body yeah um, but you're still allowed that clinching aspect of muay thai so it does allow you to come up b class then is the same but you can now knee to the head and then a class again same but now you can elbow as well yeah so, okay. go. i won yeah Very five cool. rounds yeah yeah, yeah cool. five rounds now yeah i do good now oh, Oh shit! That's the wrong one. Yeah. It's a clapping. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, it's a clapping there. thing. Well, sorry. Round of applause. There. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, I tried. I pressed wrong one, but it's as, long as, as long as it wasn't a boo and one around. It, was, it wasn't a good one. It was. Yeah. one it's wow. going now. Wow. Wow. You won your so, yeah. <laughs> He accidentally did that one. Like he accidentally what pressed the wah wah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right beside. He was expecting you to say limbs, but yeah. yeah. Um, how how many how, in my tie then, or was that is that rounds and stuff as well? Like it how, is. Yeah. Again, how, like sometimes you could do like three two minute rounds, three yeah. trees, five trees. Uh, but my one now the weekend was just gone it was uh five one and a half minute rounds five one and a half minute. um yeah which seems like fuck all like was what? it hard well, i don't think that no i said it's a nightmare it's tough yeah but look like i mean like we're trained very well like we're conditioned yeah yeah savage now like and i'd be real i'd be strict with conditioning now um so mm. like fitness wise it's all grand funny thing is i can say it now that the fight is over and everything yeah. but um I got out of uh, my COVID quarantine a week before the fight. Yeah. I, mean, I had COVID. Yeah. Um, now, again, like I said, I was fully like allowed. I was out of my quarantine. Yeah, I yeah. didn't do anything wrong. I didn't jump in against him with COVID or anything. I yeah, wasn't yeah, that yeah. stupid. Like, but, <laughs> but that yeah, would yeah. get but him. Would have done. <laughs> That's yeah, how you'd yeah. win. Yeah, yeah, just go and cough on him. Yeah. Like, it'd be grand. Yeah, yeah. But um, honest to God, like, it, I, I felt it on my chest after it. Like, mm. like fitness is always mm. really good. But, yeah. um, I felt my whole chest from about round two or three onwards. My whole chest was basically closed. Like I could barely wow, breathe. Really? Like it was, it was you, nuts, Do you have any like, kind of side effects from that? Uh, 
Not now, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it wasn't bad to call it. It wasn't too bad. There was two days now where I was, I was paranoid. No, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah, I, I, I was. I, oh, like I couldn't. I like I had yeah. asthma when I was younger, so I reckon that probably didn't help. But yeah, it was a bit freaky. Now I won't lie. I'm not gonna sit here and say like it's the fucking worst thing in the world yeah, but i yeah. can definitely see how some people get really yeah yeah like i reckon as well like just even with the vaccine and all this not that i'm gonna turn it into that yeah, podcast yeah. whatsoever yeah. but yeah. like i reckon without that like i, I reckon i could have been worse but yeah, yeah. it's hard yeah. to know you don't yeah. know unless yeah, yeah, yeah. unless yeah, it happens you know yeah, what i mean exactly, like so yeah. there's no point saying like oh get this or don't get this or yeah. do this or I don't do that mind. Yeah, exactly. all i know is I basically just douse myself full of vitamins and water. The stuff that you should be doing. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Like, I'm like sorry, in life you in should, general, yeah, like, yeah, you should yeah. be having vitamins, minerals, and you should be having yeah. some form of Regardless exercise. Regardless of COVID is around. Yeah, like, yeah. Nothing yeah. to do with COVID. Yeah, you just yeah. got to be healthy. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I remember meeting you before and you tell me about starting out all this, that you weren't like... You oh, know, yeah, no. Well, I, yeah, actually, yeah. I remember, <laughs> yeah, you remember, I remember talking to you. Yeah. Like, well, what was it? What happened? Like, basically, when I started, I was... I was doing like uh, hurling and, and rugby and football. I did all the usual crack or whatever, but um, stopped playing rugby then. Just basically just fell out of love with it and just didn't want to go anymore. Yeah. Um, so I basically was stagnant for two years um, and was... Now I was, I'm still with her now, like, but, and it wasn't a new relationship, but yeah. I'm going to use the whole like relationship being yeah. comfortable as an excuse. Yeah, but yeah. I basically ballooned up in weight. I got up to... 117 kilos which is about 18.4 stone why are you now um and now i'm like i usually walk around like maybe 89 90 kilos oh that's mad that's what, many stones um, is that? uh in stone i don't know is it roughly like 14-ish or something okay, yeah. 14 14 and a half maybe yeah yeah um so but i i know you were, like you were four stone heavier like oh, yeah I, I lost like the guts of like maybe 25 kilos altogether or something hmm. but um i basically did it so like you told Again, me you had a photograph or something you told me, did you? No, like did Sam, you? I basically started running with my father, like, yeah. and my father was like 50 odd or whatever, yeah. which was even, now, yeah. father's fit as a fiddle, like, yeah. but it, you, it, it really hit me when, like, your father is saying, like, man, get up and exercise. Like, yeah, yeah. And, like, he's so much older than me and he's well able to do it. So I went for a few jogs with him and then Sam... Yeah. I know he said on his podcast yeah. now, but someone that he works with said that there was a beginner's course yeah. and he said, do you want to go in and do it? And I basically just... The only reason I did it is because of weight loss. Yeah, like, I, yeah. I was just yeah. really fat and I just wanted to lose weight. Yeah. Um, and then I've always liked fighting, which again, Sam said on the last podcast. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it did, it, it worked out well. Like, and now, even now, I reckon if I didn't fight, I'd probably still be up at that weight. Cause yeah. I mean, food is lovely. Food yeah. Food is fucking decent. I know, like, I, know. <laughs> I love food. And, <laughs> and what's your, and you still eat, like, are you really strict with what you eat now? Or do you still like, did you enjoy yourself? I don't know. Um, like. I'd be. It depends. Uh, like, I mean, when when fights are coming up, um, I would be strict. But again, like, I'm qualified in nutrition and all that. So, like, I do actually coach people for weight loss and stuff as well. Oh, and cool. what I always say to them, I need to like practice what I preach. Yeah. You've got to be strict in a certain sense. Now, again, when it comes to making weight for a fight, obviously, like, mm. uh, I need to be very strict with certain things. But the I think just for life in general and especially when I'm not out of fights like especially this week after only just fighting yeah it doesn't mean that I'm eating nothing but cake or and bags of chips or anything but mm. you need to still allow some of that into your life just for your own mental aspect like yeah yes, be healthy but don't don't sit there and not eat a bag of crisps because if you're if you're refusing the bag of crisps and that's making you feel guilty yeah. or bad or whatever yeah. way that's also not good anyway. And like this, yeah. like you have a relationship with food, whether you want to admit it yeah, or not. Yeah, like yeah. food brings joy, even if it's, if we had a pizza there sitting down and we're, we're chatting like we are now. Yeah. Like that pizza in two years time, I might be there. But I remember I was sitting down eating a pizza and we were having a right wet laugh yeah. with the lads. Sorry about and the pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did oh, have Kit Next time, next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kit Kats are round you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, do you know, like, so I... Yeah. Be strict, but also don't um, don't like yeah. pure deprive yourself of everything because I, then you're just gonna blow up. Like, yeah, you know? I I like a bad like um I had like only the last like I realized I had this pattern of like and it wasn't overweight it was just doing like eating healthy and feeling mentally mm. shit physically shit in general and or eating unhealthy and feeling that way mm. and then um but I, I kept going on these cycles then where I'd cut everything off and then I'd be like okay I'd be on this thing for a few weeks and then. 
I would like bust and it would just go back into comp. It was like w- one extreme or the other. Yeah. And I've definitely like over the last while, I kind of like, you know, I, I would like not eat a pizza ever again. Or then I, uh, or I'd eat like loads of it like every night. And it was like, just really uh, unbalanced. And uh, I learned though, like what in that as well, I was like, well, I kept like asking them like, why am I eating pizza? Like what's, what do I get for it? And then I'd ask myself when I wasn't eating, what do I get from not eating it? Like from depriving myself in those stages. And I definitely learned to find the balance is like, I almost felt like that the pizza was like, it felt like healthy food for my soul is what I felt like. It felt yeah. like, like the every, everything else is healthy food for my body and like, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. vegetables and all that. Yeah. But it's like, if I don't like give that my soul, that sense of like, you know, like the, yeah. the experience of like, yeah, pizza no, and that, watching that something. Or, yeah, no, you're dead yeah. right there. Like, cause I mean, it, it's like anything. If you're, don't get me wrong, I love veg, but yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna sit, like if I sat down and ate nothing but veg, like yeah. eventually you're gonna fucking start hating it. And you exactly. do, you do just yeah, want yeah. pizza. And like, it's fine to eat that. Like you're allowed to actually bring some sort of enjoyment in your life. It's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I don't know, try to come up with an analogy, but like if it was exercise, exercise is really good, but it's also not really good to run three marathons every day for your entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like there, there's a certain, you do need to find a certain balance. Like yes, be, ex- or do exercise yeah. and be healthy yeah. as much yeah. as you can, but you also do need to allow some bit of enjoyment. Like over yeah. restriction, all it ever causes is just, um, like a yo-yo diet basically which is exactly what yeah, you said yeah. like really good there for four or five weeks and then really shit there for four or five weeks yeah. and then you just do it again and it's so annoying like i i did it as well like when i first started losing weight like even when i was doing this um before i learned everything that i know now like about just food and calories and everything else like i was really restricting myself i remember i was going around eating like 1200 calories a day like uh, I'm six two, and like I said, walking around eight nine ninety kilos. Um, yeah. And at that stage, I was actually walking around heavier. I could have been maybe a hundred kilos ish. Um, but twelve hundred calories, like that's less than a toddler eats. Yeah. So like oh. I was going into this like full blown mm. like eating disorder, um, wow. where I was just eating way way too little. Um, and and it was was this when you were losing weight? Like yeah, and hey, it was, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. due to the fact that I was like, man, I just don't want to get heavy again. Yeah, and like, yeah. I was so paranoid, and I I now saying that I only did it for a few weeks, and it was actually Sam. Sam kept encouraging me. He's there. He's like, you know, like you, you'll lose weight. Like just make sure you're getting enough food or whatever. And eventually, I learned then in the scrum, like, and I'll, yeah. I'll eat enough and as mm. much as I should be eating now. But um, really weird, like kind of yeah. psychological wise like yeah. what happens with like food and stuff especially when you like go up when you're really heavy and again that's why i started uh that's why i studied all this and that's why i, I tried to coach people because i do genuinely understand where where everyone's coming from yeah. i'm not some lad that's always had like a six pack and yeah, I'm just there yeah like yeah i'd be fit it's great like <laughs> there's nothing wrong with them guys but they also haven't a notion what you're actually yeah. going through yeah, like yeah. Yeah. They, none of that makes sense to them they the, never the, the, it's hard to have they're probably it's hard for them and it's not that they, they're not compassionate or empathetic yeah, yeah. empathetic people but it's hard to have that level of compassion yeah. and understanding of where you might be mentally with it and i think that's a real bonus to have that if you're helping them i like, think it's yeah. cool as well that you, your dad out running kind of inspired you as well yeah like, um, like I noticed, like I didn't do any X. I was very lazy. Yeah, yeah, life, yeah. Right? <laughs> and then my dad, he's like 88 and he's on the cross trainer. Every, he got Parkinson's yeah, yeah. or whatever. So he started getting into cycling and uh, cross trainer every morning. Mm. Um, and he's doing this every morning. Like, and I'm going, God, I'm so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I started doing uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. because of that. Yeah. Like I was saying, if he can do that at 88, it's a disgrace that I'm doing yeah. nothing at my age. You know yeah, what I mean? it's cool though. It's yeah, cool so, to just try like pick inspiration yeah, for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, I don't know. It's just a... And then once you start, it actually becomes fun and, and a oh, habit. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. nice and not as bad as you thought it was going to be. No, and, like, and that, that's what I say yeah. to everyone. Like everyone's always like, because again like i get questions just randomly like yeah. oh it's best for weight loss or yeah. whatever exercise and all. first of all there's no fucking certain exercise for, yeah. Yeah. for weight loss it's it it does really boil down to like just your calories and your food and stuff um not to oversimplify it because like we were just saying like the mental aspect is a big deal. yeah yeah um but like with exercise if you like going for a walk do that yeah yeah if, yeah. if you like playing hurling do that whatever you do that brings some sort of enjoyment yeah there's no point trying to <laughs> be miserable. Do, yeah like going in doing three hours in the gym and mm. absolutely busting yourself coming out every day and just being like this is horrible or never looking forward to it because 
yeah. how long is that gonna last oh, yeah. like be but, real yeah. with yourself yeah. like this like keep i love punching stuff yeah. like i never do, yeah, I, yeah. I never don't want to go training so it's yeah. easy for me to show up yeah, yeah. So if you can make it enjoyable to where it's easy to show up yeah happy yeah days, like you have nothing to worry about and the other thing i think as well is like if you get into a habit like that you enjoy and you, you only do a small bit mm. and then slightly increase it so you know what i mean yeah you yeah, don't yeah, try yeah. and do too yeah, much don't, yeah like yeah. okay i've never exercised in my life so starting tomorrow i'm gonna do seven days a week for two hours every yeah. day yeah. Yeah. yeah i when i started off i was so bad at like overdoing it and then i'd i was it was like the same thing with the food where i do it for a month and then not because i was like i don't know i just had this yeah, I'm only recently shaken off the all or nothing mentality because I realized having so much of the all or nothing mentality in every area of my life was leading to me not doing it sometimes at all. So, it's yeah. not, so I'm not really, I'm doing nothing there, trying to do all of it. Now I end up doing nothing. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, and it's again, it's, it's good to push yourself. Yeah. Um, but again, push yourself. Sense, and again, look, I did it as well. Like, I mean, I was, yeah. I was doing like runs for my fitness, um, but like I was running like half marathons for no reason with That's no mad. warm up whatsoever. Wow. Um, and just like, like That's I was mad. literally like yeah. anytime I was chatting to you in the yeah, like yeah. I'd probably do a half marathon and then I'd come down and chat to you. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like just up there, just staring at a wall, like, yeah mentally it was great because it, yeah. it allows me to like that whole like david goggins shit like yeah know, yeah pushing through the barrier yeah. really good for the mental aspect but now it's to a stage now where i have to be really careful with exercise with my yeah knees. Okay. like my knees are just yeah. fucked yeah like and like they're not fucked like that's the wrong word no, but you might like, want to mind them yeah five yeah. five k maybe 10 k like that's enough yeah. like i don't need i'm not a runner yeah. i'm a fighter mm -hmm. i learned to fight so i don't have to run yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's right good yeah that's right good yeah now I, I do coach said that to me i have to give him credit for that's that right. I, I didn't come up with that saying but is that pj uh pat john mccool pat, yeah pat john yeah, yeah. yeah pat john yeah what's the uh, it's pat john's place is down in the industrial state is it yeah it's in uh stratford what's it called again the uh well, it's turles martial arts academy now because right, again yeah. like i said we do the jujitsu now as well like uh, declan fogarty is our jujitsu coach right. and uh brendan mcgarry as well he's uh he's actually a black belt he comes down every kind of what's the crack if people want to join that or like is it open or is it uh we literally just started a beginner's course actually yeah uh monday yeah oh, yeah cool. so the next beginner's course i believe will either be kind of december but it'll probably end up being january yeah, realistically yeah, yeah. Mm, just yeah. with christmas and stuff yeah um what happens when you come down for a beginner's course you don't get the head box stuff here right? no, 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 no 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 but even even in our advanced class like yeah. just in, in where like the class that we're in yeah. um like the fighters and everything like thursday is sparring day and like you come in you do like the conditioning or whatever um bit of bag work or whatever and then when it comes to sparring yeah. you don't want to spar perfect yeah. like yeah. literally just pack up your gear everyone says good luck yeah, yeah. Like, that like, could put uh, some people off like to be oh, pretty good yeah, like, yeah, we, we yeah. never want to force anyone to yeah. be like, get in that ring and get like no <laughs> i like, i can like attest to like i i try i i'm just bad at again like just i'm trying to do too many things at one side there's like throughout my life there's been three different even when i was younger trying to do all these different sports at one time uh there's three, three different times i joined that and only did it for a bit and stopped or whatever but i will say like i've joined like Darla, so like Turles Gales, uh, like nearly every like Pickville at rugby club, everything. Uh, then joining the U clubs, all these different things. And the one thing I'll say about that place, I've never felt, and it was the one I was most worried about mm. because it was the only one where there's like fighting. So I was like, oh, you know, I thought like all the boxing and all, you know, any kickboxing or anything like that would be like, you know, I'd be a bit nervous joining it because there'd be, and I swear to God, it was the most friendliest place ever. I never felt so relaxed on my first day of anything, first day of school, anything. And if, and three times I did go back, it's always been like that, nothing changes. Even if there's diff, there was different people every time. Cause yeah. first time I did it was in Knox's Hall and complete, yeah, yeah, I, wasn't I was really there, young. Yeah. Like, yeah, and yeah. there was completely different people every time I joined. And that didn't matter. And I think a lot of that's to do with like Pat John and he's just so good at making you feel welcome. And he does not see anyone. He's not focused on anyone because he's like focused on everyone at the same time yeah. so equally. And out of all the trainers for any sport I've ever seen in my life, like I, he's like just mastered that like, I don't know, ability to make people feel welcome I, I, or something. I see that now as well. I'm obviously going to be a little bit biased, but yeah, honest yeah. to God, like, like I strolled in the first day as well. And like, first thing i said to him now he could have easily just got like a bad impression of me or just been like this lad's a bit because i basically strolled in and i just because i'm looking to start i want to fight when can i fight yeah like first question like oh some lad just thinks that he can just fight straight away or whatever yeah but he was just there he was like oh look we will in time or whatever dead sound didn't yeah, say anything yeah. wrong literally just said come in whenever you're ready <laughs> yeah, um, yeah and like you said as well like 
he doesn't focus on anyone individually. Like when we're in class, mm. um, like you could say, even like when we're going for like the titles or whatever, or the big fights and everything, like he is not up in the ring just trying to notice and everyone else just left on the back. Yeah, yeah. Like the whole class is together. Like, I mean, me and Sam are trying together. Everyone else is trying together. Yeah, Pat yeah. John is instructing the entire class. It's mad. Like the only yeah. time that there is like individuals like with... Uh, just me and Pat John or just me uh, mm. or Sam and Pat John one on one is yeah. after hours outside yeah, of yeah. class. Like you, you'll never come into class and be um, pushed to one side, which I've seen in other clubs, not yeah. to mention any I, names, but really, like I've been to clubs yeah, where yeah. you literally go in, yeah. all the fighters are just in the ring with the coach, which there, there's nothing wrong with it, but yeah. it becomes a problem when you go in to learn a sport mm. and you are left just staring at a bag. Yeah, and, yeah. I haven't a clue what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. do you mean just hit a bag? I could do that at home. Why yeah. am I actually going to a gym? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I could have just bought a bag at home mm -hmm. and done this. Like, and and even like, uh, well, I noticed it's like, because I did a beginner one last, I don't know, and you and uh, I think Sam was there as well, but you were there or whatever, and there was, he's, he, he's really good at picking, he's really good at getting the people who already have experience mm -hmm. and all of you are so sound, like he's really good at, I don't know, being able to just uh, build an atmosphere where you're so mm. comfortable with showing other people. Yeah. And, and nobody feels like, oh, these are like, oh, these lads who already know what they're doing are showing yeah, me now. Yeah. No one feel you don't feel like that at all. It's so like, I don't know, the atmosphere, I don't know, for a thing that's built around violence, it's so peaceful. I know, it's, <laughs> it's so I, content or so. I, I don't know why it is not peaceful. I've got loads <laughs> of comments before and like, it's unfortunate, but I don't think you're ever going to get rid of it. But like this whole thing of like, oh, I do want to start like, but yeah. geez, I don't know if I want to go in and just like, just fight or whatever. And look, people just have like this, and I don't blame them. Like, I mean, mm. again, like when you don't know, you don't know. But like people just have like this image of, like going into uh, any martial arts studio yeah, and yeah. just like, right, okay, you basically go in, gloves on. and Fight just start, club. Yeah, and like, just start scrapping Brad people. Pitt's going to be there staring <laughs> yeah, yeah. at you, his t-shirt <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's basically it. Like, there's there's just no gonna rules. There's going to be blood all over yeah, the walls yeah, yeah. And, like, and just people getting stomped on. And yeah. like, if anything, it is the complete opposite. Like, I mean, you yeah. go in, it's, like you said, it's, it's dead friendly. Um, no one... No one's looking at you, but at the same time, if you want to ask a question, all attention will be yeah. on you. Um, like, again, no one's in there just staring at you and going, oh, geez, did you see the new lad? See what he's doing? No yeah. one's doing that. Like, I'm more interested and everyone else is interested in their own training. Whereas if the beginner goes, hey, look, excuse me, can you show me how to do that? No yeah. problem at all. Yeah, 100%, I'll show you. But you'll be shown in a way that it's not like... Um, I don't know if I don't know if derogatory is the right word, yeah. but um, like as in you're not getting looked down on, like yeah, yeah, not yeah. Like, yeah it's, oh, not kind of, it's not kind of demeaning. Yeah, like, or, oh, that's a yeah, yeah. Kind of word. Yeah, yeah. It's not like oh, like you've been here a few weeks, you should know this by now. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm still asking questions, like constantly, yeah. just always, always learning, and it is. I mean, for a sport that is uh, quite violent, like, I mean, it's yeah very peaceful. It yeah, makes yeah. no yeah. sense. But I know. I, I know like going mean. to a place where you're allowed to be bad at stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, because, yeah. like, I know, remember in school, if you weren't good at hurling or soccer, you were just left to decide. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. he yeah. was um, letting people who are go already good at stuff yeah. play games. Yeah. And letting the guys who weren't <laughs> yeah, so good at yeah. it just stand to the side yeah. during the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or as even, like, I know, like, with the CrossFit or whatever, you're allowed to be bad, and they don't mind how bad you are. They're, they're no. keep showing you how to do it, and they don't lose patience. So yeah, but like, uh, I was actually only listening to yeah. something the other day, and like, it, it's really good to to suck at something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's a, I, I, re it. yeah. I really it's something like that you want to do as well. Yeah. Like, I really like, like the feeling I do of as well. sucking at something. Yeah. Like, jujitsu is really good, and again, yeah. I'm only saying that because I'm at kickboxing a little longer. So, yeah. do you know, yeah. like, I, I'd be a bit better at it now. Now, still constantly asking yeah. questions and mm -hmm. never yeah. ever going to be good enough. Like, always yeah. strive for more, but. Jiu-Jitsu kind of blew my mind because I'm not at that that long and mm. there's so many submissions and like it, it's so weird but I remember coming home like every like night training smiling whereas if you actually looked at the training and what just happened like in Sparn, I didn't submit anyone yeah yet I got choked out I got my foot like nearly ripped off like <laughs> do you know like yeah, all, yeah like I got submitted and tapped out like yeah 20 30 times yeah. in a night and I come out and I'm just like man it's fucking so cool uh, like yeah, i can't yeah. wait to know how to do that like yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah. didn't actually get my foot ripped off we, we do yeah we, yeah we train we train smart like and I know, again like but do you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. You're, you're there and like it, it's good to be shit at something because yeah. 
but it's, i think it's well, but that, sometimes sorry. if you're shit at something and nobody loses patience with you and they keep with you when you actually do learn how to do it you're right good at it yeah. yeah if you learn really slowly sometimes you weren't right yeah good. yeah and, yeah uh, before no, exactly. people would lose patience with you and you you, you just fuck you say oh, I'm, I'm frying these people's heads Let yeah 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 stay away from here but yeah if they're patient and you stay and you actually end up learning it you never forget like, yeah no exactly yeah like, and, mm. Oh, it's People brilliant. learn at like, different rates, uh, don't they? You know? But we did it as well, like with uh, kickboxing. I always say, like, uh, kickboxing was a weird one, um, and Muay Thai as well, like, uh, just mainly because of the kicks. Like, punching, everyone at some stage in their life was trying to punch, whether, yeah. whether it was in literally a playground in, like, primary school or whether it was secondary school or maybe it was a dodgy night out yeah, so, yeah. you've punched something before in your life even if you're <laughs> messing with your friends everyone has yeah. punched some sort of a punch yeah, yeah. where's the kicks like, yeah you've never kicked like that in your life you can yeah. say like oh i've kicked a soccer ball <clears throat> yeah it's oh. it's the complete opposite a soccer ball is kicking that way straight like the roundhouse is much yeah. different and like it's cool to eventually like after maybe uh, however many weeks months however long it is mm. but to kick the pad and hear that sound of actually a good connection you're like wow yeah fuck. i i like, think you know when you see watch like the ufc fights and, sh and you see like lads getting kicked or whatever and they shake they can shake it off easy or whatever i and now i don't even know because i've never been kicked like that but i can acknowledge it and that's about the extent but only you and everyone else who's ever fought before or sparred or anything like that have any idea what that kick is like because when you're watching on television you can't even hear the sound because the crowd mm. or anything like that it doesn't it, you kind of hurts, sometimes yeah. you're looking at it thinking like yeah. Why, why are they even kicking? Like, the kick doesn't look like it's doing anything because... Yeah. But, like, I don't think people understand, like, it's a, there's a lot of different, like, things in uh, Marsh, uh, watching as an, as, a, as an audience member that I don't think... It seems, uh, like, that only as someone who's, like, experienced being in the ring can really feel what, yeah, like, that, that actually looks like. That would hurt, like... It's very know. different at a live show now, actually. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to get you down to a live show if, if I'd you love ever could. To, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're saying, like, you can't hear anything. Man, wait till you go to a live show. You can, like, yeah. It, I could literally make the sound if you just gave me a baseball bat and just let me wrap <laughs> yeah, it up. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like, that's what it oh, sounds like. You, you're just getting like this. Yeah. Like, that's probably really loud in the bike. Um, no, it's good. It's but, good. like, you're just getting that sound all the you time. Did. And, like, the crowds are, are nuts in Muay Thai. Like, every time mm. something lands, everyone's just, wait, wait, going nuts. Like, the crowds are super supportive. Like, yeah. you know, sometimes... I'm not even going to name a sport, but certain sports, uh, the audience members, like something class happens in yeah. the match or yeah. whatever. And like, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure quiet. Yeah, yeah. Like, whereas yeah. in Muay Thai, like you, no. I could be staring at the wall and I know if someone's after getting knocked out or kicked or something's after yeah, landing yeah, yeah. from the crowd. That's Brilliant. class. It's, uh, the crowd is nuts. Yeah, I would I, like to see it live. Like it's totally, a yeah, total totally different thing. Like. Man, it's, it is, it's, mm. it's really cool now. Does time slow down in the ring while that round is on or what? Um, does your brain change or something? I, I don't know. It doesn't really like, it doesn't slow down. It feels like just like nothing else is going on. Focus. Timeless, like nearly. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Like timeless, just you're maybe. in the moment constantly, like. Yeah, like no, it, it's almost like everything else is invisible. Yeah, Like yeah. I know, like uh, maybe my fiance or family members or friends or whoever, like or I fun. know they're all here. Because you can't see but, Yeah. Like t it, all, all man. Like I'm sorry now. There's a dude in front of me that's trying to take my head off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't pretend. I talked to you in a bit. Yeah, like I can't focus on oh, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like hi, mom. Yeah, so <laughs> it's literally yeah. just like. Oh, Why shit. didn't you wave? Yeah. Whatever says you. Why didn't you wave at me? I was waving yeah, at you. Like, and, and it's it's nuts. And yeah, yeah. it's crazy because because I can't like even hear any of them. Like I'll hear Sam and yeah, yeah. and Hatch on. Um, like I'll hear them. Um, but. Everyone else I can't hear, and it's always mad to me because um, someone will always video it. Like, and when I watch the video back, then like I much prefer like the the shaky hand, like dodgy footage of my fights. Yeah. Um, that sounds weird, but I prefer that because I hear like I hear like my best friends, I hear my fiance, and I hear my mother, and like mm. uh, like my little sit, like the fight. Like, it was kind of emotional, but like in the fight there, only last weekend, yeah. like. Straight after the fight, I, I came home, um, sitting down uh, with my fiance or whatever, and like I just the mother just sent in like the the video from the fight or whatever, and I just watched a little clip or whatever. My mother is screaming, <laughs> and, That's class. Um, like my sister is screaming as well. But my youngest sister, she's like I think she's six, <laughs> um, That's you right. can barely hear her yeah. just going like. <laughs> 
Liam, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> and my, I, no, that's Shane right. literally burst into tears. Oh, I was that's like, that's the coolest shit I've ever oh. heard. Like, she was going nuts, like just watching me like yeah, rap yeah. fucking kicks off some lad. Like, and she's there. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. It's so weird. That's, that's, class, that's mad. That's class. It's really cool. Oh. So when's your, you have a, you know, when's your next fight? or uh, November 20th. November uh, 20th. Professional Irish K1 81 wow. kilo title. Who wow. are you fighting? Owen Sheridan. Owen Sheridan. Do you like yeah. Owen? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you get on with him? The guy, well, I suppose, do you get, that's a weird question. Do, have you ever fought someone and, and like liked them? Like, I don't know. I've, actually, never, I've never fought someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All oh, right, okay, I've that's fair. <laughs> actually, no, I, everyone now, I actually never really have any animosity I know, yeah. like between yeah. anyone. The, the guy I fought last weekend, we were actually chatting before and then I was chatting to him for about an hour after it. Well, that's yeah. mad, yeah. What you need to realize is most of the time, yeah, um, like you probably will get on with them number one you both fight yeah like that's that's common things like um like you're into the same shit really yeah like, yeah you, you're, so, you, you have a lot in common like yeah so you could quite, be friends like it's quite of, weird not to like yeah them. yeah like, yeah even yeah, yeah. after it when i was talking to your man like the song he picked was um it was by abba it was a man after midnight but abba. No way. and uh he said he picked it because his mother loves it <laughs> that um, sound the difference Jesus. in our mothers now because i picked my song because of my mother and it was uh breathe by the prodigy oh, oh wow um, <laughs> there's a fair difference yeah, there. yeah a slight difference <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. But, um, like i picked that because it's uh, it reminds me of my nan and my mother oh, um that's so right. like that's kind of like my walkout tune from that's now that's a class like, song to go to. and it is it's the lyrics are kind of cool as well because yeah. it's kind of like come play my a, game i'll test you or whatever that's class your mother's a prodigy fan yeah yeah, she knew him when she was younger. Oh, she was friends with him, actually. Oh, yeah. wow, that's yeah, class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, shout, who? shout out to the boys. <laughs> Wait, what? She was friends with the prodigy? She was friends with the prodigy. Yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, that's she, mad. Well, same yeah, she, she, she grew up in London, like. Yeah, yeah. So, like, oh, so it's not to do with, like, them being here to fail or anything like that? No, no, no. That's no, mad. No, no, she knew them when, like... Whoa. I mean, like, before they were the prodigy, yeah. like, she That's them. mental. Yeah, yeah. Like, she was it. Like she's up on stage in, in a couple of videos. As well. Like, <laughs> like she was, like, legit friends. That is class. I'm not talking, like, she knew them, like, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, they're down there. No, like she was actually friends with him. Oh, that's man. mad. Yeah, which cool. is that's I, I cool. say that to everyone because I mean it is pretty fucked. Yeah, yeah. That is cool. Yeah, yeah. The prodigy is pretty sick. Like yeah, so. yeah. 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 Um, we have played their songs in loads of illegal places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure that's where uh, that's where man met them. Anyway. Like, that's, <laughs> I don't know. No, that's I'll, class. I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut just yeah. in case I get man in trouble. But yeah. um, so hey, do you know what the next like? I mean, you know, like now, like UFC or like all, or even boxing now has become like a lot about the promotions, like the entertaining, like mm. the characters nearly people are playing and stuff like, oh, well, like the, like over exaggerated versions of themselves. Like, you know, Conor McGregor is probably him in real life. Like, but yes, like the way that the new way that people are selling fights and stuff, do you ever see like you ever like, I don't know, going down the road of like, I don't know, like really playing into the character of like, uh, no, could you I mean Stevie? Or, or no, like he, I, <laughs> I could, I could, uh, like the the most I will do is like because yeah. again, like every fight, like there's only yeah. one goal. Whether I like him or whether I don't like him, mm. like my goal is to take his head off. Like cool, that's, yeah, that's it. Like I mean, yeah, because he, he's trying to do it to me. But yeah. as far as trash talk, like. Yeah. I really, really hope I never go against someone that trash talks because, like, I, I'm gonna be shit at it. Like, really? Yeah. They'll, they'll be insulting me, and I'll just be like, oh, "Shut up, man." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Stevie, shut yeah. up. Just shut up and stop talking. Like, it's either that or else I'll just get too mad and just go there, right there, and then like. Yeah, yeah. The trash talk is good. Don't get me wrong. It, it hypes up the audience, but yeah, I think there's a certain stage where it's like. Trash talk is good when it's good trash talk. Yeah. yeah. Like, and what I'll say there is like McGregor, um, like one of the best ever to do it. Like early stages was really, really top good. Of it, yeah, like yeah. he was witty as fuck yeah. and it yeah. was entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Then like last couple now it's kinda like geez, you actually like feel bad for him. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's like, almost like he's really trying to like yeah. It's like an unraveling of his ego, it seems like. Yeah, it's, like he's really just mm. he's trying too hard. Whereas before it, he was just like Naturally, rattling yeah. off these like little witty comments yeah, yeah, like which yeah. is brilliant, like but now it's almost yeah. like he's he's he, nearly sitting there and he's like, Okay, fuck what yeah. I next. What's I said? Oh right, insult his mother. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, like, like, <laughs> I I think that he's an example of like you know like I think a lot of the cases ev I don't think everyone's ever fake fully playing the character but they're always I'd say playing an over exaggerated version of himself. I feels like in the beginning he was doing that you know because he knew it was entertain like and he was just having to crack himself mm. and then I think he actually became that over exaggerated version of himself and like yes. you know what I mean like got lost into that and yeah. hasn't slept back when he walked yeah, away. I don't like, know it's weird. Another thing as well is like when he started like and when he like I said when he was good at the trash talk like I mean he was yeah. on top of his game. He's 
he's yeah, still one of the best in the world now. So like, don't get me wrong there. Like, I mean, 100% he's there. Yeah, but yeah. Like, after losing the last couple of fights, like, um, you know, like against like the, the likes of Dustin or whatever, who is a fucking right good fighter. Like, I mean, um, yeah. really good representative of the sport as well. Like, but like, you can only imagine like after losing the couple of fights, because to him, I always say like losses don't matter. Like, I mean, if you lose, at least, you know, you're fighting the good guys. Like, if you're mm. always winning, yeah, yeah. You, you, people can question who you're fighting. Whereas, like, Floyd um, Mayweather, like, just... Yeah, always, I mean, like, boxing-wise, like, Floyd definitely fought, like, really good champions. Early, or maybe early days. Early, but yeah. Even the likes of, like, Joshua. Not to talk shit about Joshua or boxing or yeah. anything. But can you name... Like, can anyone name five of his opponents? No, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. maybe if you follow boxing, yes. Like, of course you can, like, because you're obviously big fans of him. I don't really follow boxing, but I think for the general public... You yeah. should still be able to name his opponents. Like mm. McGregor, you could name nearly all of them. Yeah, he like, did fight the he, best. He like, did fight the best. Yeah, and yeah. When, like I said, when he was on top of his game, his confidence was probably just fucking insane. So like he was yeah. just really good at the, the comments. But now, maybe because he's lost, not that he's stopped believing in himself, but surely like deep down, like he's probably, he's not as confident with what he's saying. Yeah. And you can tell like when he's talking. Yeah. Um, he, it, it, he doesn't have that pure, like, I really believe what I'm saying. He's more so just like, okay, like what did I write down it's, in the script? Like, yeah. Just I'm just thinking again. of all the money that I have if I was, yeah, like, yeah. I wouldn't really give a shit about the fight. Oh yeah. I don't think <laughs> yeah. he gives a bollocks. Like, I mean, he doesn't, the, the thing that I've like, look, don't get me wrong. I want to keep, see him keep fighting. Cause I mean, even if he has done some stupid shit, he's Irish. Like yeah. I mean, like yeah, yeah. He's, he's one of the best in the world, and like yeah, I mean, yeah. he's from Ireland. I still, I'm like, not gonna lie, I still like him. Like, yeah, I, I, like I, I, I still, you have to respect yeah, I, him. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think no matter if you don't like him, you still have to respect yeah, him. Like, but at the same time, like to go in and like I said, to go in against a guy who wants to take your skull off. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. they're really trying to hurt you. It's kind of hard to to build yourself up to do that when you literally have like a billion quid. Like, yeah, you know I'll what die. I mean? Like, he doesn't yeah. have. All he has to fight for now is is legacy, which is extremely important and and yeah. worth much more than money. But do you know at the same time, like when he started, uh, like he was on the dole. Yeah, so it was like this is it's now or never for me or whatever, and like really, really like hard graft to like. Yeah, knock out with a gutter. Like I mean, geez, the doll's not that bad. Like, but you know, like, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And now it's like it's quite hard to go in and just build yourself up to get shins wrapped off you when you yeah. you have enough money to literally buy the company you're fighting yeah. for. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like you'd seen that like the motivation like early on like with like boxing in you know New York and stuff like that. A lot of those guys were coming from like the Bronx, from like you know rundown areas. Yeah, they were fighting because they had to feed their kids. Yeah, that's exactly. why they were fighting. Yeah, and if they yeah, didn't yeah. win the fight or or they could maybe not be able to feed their kids for a while. I don't know. Like it's the yeah. motivation was really and you see that with the best like. I'm not sure if I, I'm aware of any. Wasn't you saying this yesterday? I'm not sure if I'm aware of one person who wasn't like the best in any of the uh, sports who uh, who was like born wealthy. Um, mm. I haven't. Maybe there is, and I don't know of. But like often it is like you know. Oh, it is like it's it's very hard, and like even in um, even in Thailand, like in Muay Thai, like you, you, they could have. Um, now again, like I, I'm not saying everything that I'm going to say is pure facts. Yeah, because from of course, what I've heard yeah. is like you could be like eight years old. And like you're fighting full tie rules, like with elbows and everything. Yeah. Uh, like no shin pads, no nothing. Like, I mean, it's not like a kid's fight here. Like, I mean, mm. it's a fight. Yeah. Um, and you're going in and they'll go in and like all the the audience around them, like there's a big kind of like gambling thing over in Thailand. Okay. Like they'll all be placing bets um, mm. and all this. And at eight years old, the money that you win from the fight, like you're coming home and you're putting food on the table. for Yeah, family. yeah, it's mad. Like you're literally fighting from that age and like every yeah. bit of money is for your family like uh for maybe for your future as well like i'm sure they probably do do a bit to college like it, it's not yeah it's not like a fucking child labor situation whatsoever but it's like do you know like yeah it over there it's like it's like gaa here yeah like you play gaa i know you don't get paid like but you play gaa basically from the minute you're born like this kind of yeah kind of the natural thing to do like everyone when they have kids is just like oh you know like he's turning seven like, yeah oh, we, yeah geez, we better get him in, into the hurling or whatever like yeah um, and to foreigners that look savage these young lads running around with sticks baiting each other doesn't yeah they? i mean it is a bit savage it, it yeah. is actually it is pretty savage <laughs> yeah. like, to be fair i mean like it's that's probably why like our shins are hard enough is that like sam like sam's shins are fucking ridiculous like i remember like when we were younger we broke like 
<laughs> that doesn't yeah. matter Like we broke a log That was literally like Four or five inches oh, thick That's mad Off Sam's shins Because like they just They're just like Indestructible <laughs> like. Jesus Christ say, stand, stand, stand there for a minute We want to break a log Oh no it's like Sam? Sam just said to one of the lads He was like Oh do you know what? I don't really have feelings In my shins or whatever And we were all like <laughs> and, and Sam just goes He was there He was like I can't see And he was They were like 20 quid if we can break this off you And he was like Yeah grand no way Got a handy 20 quid yeah. like, literally That's a proper, mad Like I mean like A proper oh. like Proper log and you, No axe or anything No 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 no, no. <laughs> That's mad no, At the same time Getting shins A shin is a lot harder now Than a log Like so Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The kicks hey. in this are okay. Like I mean they're, they're quite tough But you don't feel them in there Like well, Yeah the That's adrenaline mad Adrenaline's kind of weird Like adrenaline's really Fucking weird Do you ever um, come across Your man the boxer From you know Where Liam Campion's uh, Butcher shop is In Turles I know was, where the shop is. There's a plaque up outside it. Your man was world champion. Oh, yeah. What was his name? What the fuck? Was it? No. What? No, it was. Was he? But no, it was. was a, it? Uh, was his name either O'Dwyer or Ryan? Well, wasn't McNamara? No, it wasn't McNamara. Well, yeah, it could have been. Um, but yeah, he's a world champion. Well, I think it was O'Dwyer. Was it O'Dwyer? Was it? Yeah. I think so. I'm not sure was, anyway. Yeah. But yeah, so, he was. Yeah. yeah heavyweight, heavyweight, wasn't it? Heavyweight, heavyweight world, world champion. champion. Of the world. Fighting mad. over and, in New York. Uh, I, I found an article in the paper about Oscar Wilde was at the fight, all these famous people. It was in America. Jesus. Like, yeah, and mad. He's from Mitchell Street and Tarlis. That's yeah. Class. Yeah, yeah. yeah, see, I'm like, our goal is fucking World two Devannies. Yeah. yeah, I, I want That's two Devannies to be known for not one either. Like, like yeah. I said, like we started this together and yeah. fucking yeah. trust me, we're like, we're going to finish it together. Like, it's. That's cool. Can you like, like go world champion and all that crack, yeah. I've had fucking full intention to do Brilliant. it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Like I said, we'll fucking be Irish champ now in a few weeks and yeah. we'll fucking go on to Five Nations, European yeah. fuck. I don't care, I'll take all of them. Every yeah. generation there's That's Irish fair. world champions, I think. Like do you remember your man yeah. as well, the gorgeous Gale, what's his name? The contender, that guy, Jack, he's from Cork. Um he was literally yeah. just a tough guy. Yeah, and he just kind of <laughs> won boxing. Mm, he yeah, yeah. Of it. yeah, yeah, he yeah. Kept winning world champion, and he became world champion as well. And yeah, hung yeah. out with all these Hollywood stars. And yeah, well, I, I don't know if I'd be hanging out with them. No, no. I was only saying dirty. it the other day. Like, yeah. cause it, it's kind of mad to me. Like, people are like, it, it's weird that people like know my name that yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I know all ye. So like, if you I yeah. see yeah. ye and you're yeah. like, well, Liam, oh, grand. Yeah. It's like, not weird, yeah. But these people that I don't know at all and have yeah. never mm -hmm. met are like, yeah. I can't wait <laughs> to see you fight, man. And yeah. I'm like, oh my fuck. Like, Brilliant. I, yeah. Like, I don't know. It's almost like I'm too, like, too shy for all that yeah. shit. Like, I don't know if I like, it's cool, don't get me wrong, and I appreciate the shit of it, but mm. it's really weird for me. Like, yeah. I mean, I just I punch people in the head like I mean that's in my opinion like that's all I'm doing like yeah, yeah, if you yeah. want to draw inspiration from it like yeah fire <laughs> away but yeah. I, I'm still just that that stupid little kid like yeah, you know, yeah. like from Boris that just like How, and would you and do you is, do you have a direct goal like of like uh, that boat you have like have you sat down and said like have you ever had that conversation with each other you and your brother Sam that like you're going to do this together and you're going to be the best in the world or have you ever like yeah. sat down and about no no, no we tell each other every day that's cool man yeah like Sam yeah that's honestly I was actually only thinking of it on the way in here and um it's hard not to get emotional because it, it really is like mm. like we're best friends I know we're brothers and everything but like we are like legit best friends and that's class if he if he wasn't doing this with me, um, and if I did, if I didn't have him in my corner, I I could promise you now, there's no way I would be yeah. where I am now. Like anytime I'm not confident or like something goes wrong, like Sam is just there and he's like, man, like you've like you've full fucking potential, like you are yeah. gonna be the best. Like just trust me. Like he does, he picks me up an awful lot more than I'd like mm. to admit now. But like, I mean, he really is fucking, yeah. don't get me wrong. Like my fiance is a fucking angel. Like my mother and everyone, like everyone is brilliant. Mm. Yeah. But it, it's quite different because Sam, Sam has all aspects of it. If that makes sense. As yeah. In, if I go home and complain about training, like she supports the shit out of me, but she also doesn't know what actually happened in training. Like, so, she, so she's supporting me, but it's almost like, it's kind of just being nice, which yeah. I appreciate and it's really good. But like when Sam, Sam's there for everything, like Sam's yeah, there for all yeah. the fights, for all the training, for, for like when I'm feeling shit about training or whatever. Like, so when he, when he's telling me I'm the best, mm. I, I really, really believe him. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not like, yeah. there's not even, it's not because of course there's emotions attached, but there's not as much. It's like, yeah, it's by experience and it's less, I don't know. Do you think as well, like being the best, like it's that you just keep doing it. You keep turning up, you keep, wh yeah. how, how are you Well, I mean, like, again, like it's just, yeah, like we show up every time. Exactly. Like, 
yeah, we yeah. don't I could count on one hand in the last yeah. four years like start this four years ago mm. I could count on one hand how many training sessions I've missed wow like I do they not say, miss they say that, training like, history is made by people who show up yeah like Isn't I show it? up yeah, every yeah. fucking yeah. time and we always do like it's yeah. it's weird if we're not at training like, yeah it's strange like, like I went in like I haven't stopped training like I fought last weekend and usually lads will take like maybe two three maybe maybe even a week yeah. but they'll take days off or whatever to let their shins heal up <laughs> like my shins are still bruised because i was just been in like wrapping pads all week uh, as well like, yeah. yeah um like just always showing up and i just yeah i just want to prove that i'm the best and because i'm coming up with sam like sam won the the uh the silver series title last yeah. weekend and like i'm training with a champ yeah that's so cool. i know like as long as i'm training with a champ yeah. i will be champ yeah and Sam looks at me the same the same way like it was really that's fucking cool, cool. like yeah. he, t- he called uh, an underground champ is what he called me yeah, yeah, that's yeah. class it's like, it's like you, might, you might not have the actual label but like yeah. it's there and that's what I'm saying like in six weeks it's not if it's like when I get that belt yeah. like yeah. I know I'm going to be our champion Brilliant. like I have full yeah. confidence like, that's really cool whether I do or, or or maybe if it goes wrong and it doesn't happen I don't care get It'll up be dust next yourself time, like, off yeah. Keep going. Go again. Like can, that's that's all you can do. Can I give you like a, a, hypo- a hypothetical situation that also like isn't out of the realm as a possibility considering we put man on the moon. So you and uh, Sam, uh, you're both in the UFC. You be- both become the two best fighters of the UFC. Mm. Five million each. Would you fight for the world's biggest no. fight? No. Would you? No. F- no. That's right. No, I More, get asked that question every 20 time. Million. No, 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 50 no. million. No. 50 million each. No. <laughs> 50 million and a bag of chips each. <laughs> I'll take the bag. Of yeah. <laughs> but, no, so you won't, no. No, all seriousness, uh, never, never. Like, that's we, cool. That's we cool. can fight at the same weight easily. Yeah, like, yeah. We walk around like the same way. I cut a little bit more weight or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. For that reason alone. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Now, saying that, I'm <laughs> able to cut a little bit more weight. Like, I mean, Sam wouldn't get to my weight. Like, like yeah. Sam's a fucking like, walking tank. Like, I mean, he's not going to cut that much. But, yeah. like, I can't afford that. But we've always said, like, we're never going to fight. Like, yeah, trust me. That like we spar every Have you week. talked about that? Like, have you said to each other? Oh no, but like I mean, there's just not. Like, there's not a conversation. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, it's cool. not even like, <laughs> hey, look, we, like, we've sparred and we've had fights like for all the world, like fake fights or whatever. Yeah. And, but again, it's only sparring and like, don't get me wrong. I mean, it'd be a fucking good one. Like yeah. it'd be, it would be entertaining as shit. Oh, but man. it's a lose lose. Like yeah. if I lose. He's not going to be happy about winning. I'm not going to be happy about losing, and vice versa. Like Christmas just, dinner would be different, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, it just doesn't. Really, like people have said, like, oh, what happens if it comes down yeah. to like where you have to fight for the belt and there's no one else? I mean, that's shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, what are we meant to do? Like, go back to our mother's house and like fucking one of us with the belt <laughs> around the shoulder and yeah, yeah, yeah like it's, man, it's man going to be a sad. One. It's yeah. going to be there's going to be no celebrating yeah. in the house. Like, mom's going to okay. hug one and say congratulations, oh. and, the, <laughs> and then. <laughs> Hug the other and just be like, I'm sorry for saying congratulations. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just try to watch back the video and like see yeah, like, yeah. try to divide the show <laughs> yeah, the two e, like. way, Your way. poor mother would be in the worst position any human could ever oh, be in. Like. She, that was the first oh, thing she man. said to us when we started. Please she don't was fight. like, whatever you no do. More fighting. Yeah, she was like, whatever you do, don't ever fight each other. Yeah, like, yeah. We're never going to like it's yeah, never gonna mad. happen. Mm. Like it's fucking ever, ever. That's mad. Um, I don't know. Now, maybe if you did slap a billion in front of me, <laughs> <I'm> mad, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, <laughs> box the head off. But yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I don't know. Like, I mean, he's fucking tough. Like I said, that's why I. That's why I feel like I'm as good as I am. It's because of him. Like, yeah, I mean, he fucking pushes the shit on me. That is mad. Uh, When's your uh, Irish? Uh, 20th of November oh, in that's... Dublin in the basketball arena. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, right. There's actually there's a. Th- again, this is why it's all nuts to me. Like, there's a world title fight: John and Haggerty versus um. Some mayor, I can't think of his first yeah, yeah, name now, yeah. but um, like that's a world title fight. John Haggerty is one of the best. Wait, at this and say yeah. you're, you're the it's, undercard kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, like this is the main event. Like, oh and wow, okay. So, like he's fighting, and this is why it's nuts. So like, world title fight was announced. Then there was a European title fight, which was announced, which is also going to be a fucking sick fight. Um, yeah, it's Alex Akimov versus um. I can't think of the other guy's name now either. Um, apologies if he mm. listens to this. Um, but. Then, like, I was the third fight announced, like... No way. And, like, John and Haggerty has been on one championship. Like, I mean, he's known around the world. Like, he was yeah. world champion. Like, he bet, like, one of the best highs ever. That's um, mad. And 
for me to have his name, another name, and then my fight. That's class. Yeah. Even mind, that poster would be cool. Won't oh, it? man. Like, yeah, I, yeah. like, I have the poster there, yeah. like, and, like, I'm there with my opponent yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And then just in the background, like, John and Haggard, he's right yeah. there. I'm mm. like, man, I'm That's fucking so cool. fighting in his yeah. undercard. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm going to be able to take a picture of him with my belt after. That's savage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's fucking cool. <laughs> right. out, like, what what do you think of all the like um the new like YouTube fighting and like Fly Mayweather fighting Logan Paul and all the um what's I, your opinion on that the what's where I think uh, f- for fighting I think it's it's shite like but I think they're all smart cunts yeah just in general honestly yeah, yeah, like yeah. I mean you can sit there and like I know like especially me like like because like because I'm a fighter and it's just like you know it's not fair like I'm working my bollocks off and I don't get that sort of stage and like yeah. All that is true. Like, I do understand that. But again, like, you got to admit, like, if you were in their position mm. and like, if someone, like, if someone came into me now, like, I'm unknown to the yeah. world, like, and if someone goes, Liam, will you fight Fly Mayweather there for a fucking hundred million? Would be yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah like, if, any, if anyone, sh- if the fight, because I've seen, like, uh, I, I thought I was mad at, i seen now in fairness a lot of fighters were more, people in the fighting community were more angry at Fly Midwater. I thought like, not a single person should be angry at Logan Paul. Like, you know, Fly, yeah, yeah. he's not a fight, like, well, he, yeah. like, he is, but he isn't. But like, Fly Midwater is supposed to be like the face of the thing. So if there's anyone to be angry at, you know, it's probably him. I don't yeah, know for yeah, accepting true. it. Like, if you, if you are going to be like, mad, I, like, be yeah. mad at Floyd. But yeah, again, yeah. like... Why fucking even be mad? Like Floyd is getting a hundred million. Yeah, to yeah, fight exactly. Some YouTube kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Who, <laughs> now, <laughs> saying that now, it still was a dodgy fight for Floyd. I mean, Floyd yeah, is like was, the best yeah. boxer in the world, one of the best anyway ever. Mm. Like, but I mean, Logan's a lot bigger than him, and yeah. I, I love this whole like size doesn't matter to a certain extent, but you still can't argue with me that someone who is. 50 kilos i don't know what weight floyd is but someone who's 50 kilos going against someone who is 90 kilos like there's a difference if some guy was 50 yeah. kilos in front of me even if he was way way better and he was making shit of me like when yeah. i first started guys that light were making shit of me as well like and just dancing around me yeah but there's still no arguing that if i land a punch yeah. you're going to sleep like you're, you're nearly half my weight yeah so like it was a dodgy fight from like i mean he still did have balls going in against him like i mean yeah fucking, it could have ended very bad i i think i think in fair like a lot i think only what we were talking about i think only like a lot of people like who, even like there's a lot of fans of usc and all that but still don't have the level of awareness of you know what's actually going on in the world of fighting in terms of the complexities of it's not like you can't actually ever prove Conor McGregor was the best fighter or anyone ever was because mm. you can only ever say that they were best at the time of that d- certain division. But people will see, because he's all over the news now, people who aren't like in the fighting community will think Conor McGregor is the best fighter in the world. Yeah. But when you know about fighting, you know that a UFC fighter who's bigger than him, that's not in the same thing, could have been. And there's all these things people don't take into oh, account. Oh, there is, like, 100%. And like, I mean, look, I don't particularly like the, the Paul brothers, like, but... You got to give respect where respect is due. Yeah, like, yeah. They know how to make money. Um, they are training. Yeah. Like, they are trying. Like, I mean, Jake is improving. Um, like, I was there, it's fucking, it'd be cool. Devani's versus Paul. Like, that'd be that funny, any, man. Any yeah. day, like, but you know. He should, that'd the, be so funny. The, oh, like, we would. But again, like, we're nobodies. Like, that, it's, t- it's of no interest to them. Like, but yeah, yeah. you got to, you got to respect the grind. Like, I mean, Jake is trying and. I didn't even watch the fight because I fuck all interest in it. But like, I mean, he did beat Tyron Woodley. Yeah, he was like, I mean, Tyron fucking... Woodley was like welterweight champion. Like, he was yeah, one of the yeah. best in the world at one stage. Now, I, don't know, I reckon that was a bit of a fucking yeah. pay payoff or a pay there or whatever. But still, like, I mean, technically, he still bet him. Yeah, I, 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 I actually respect the both of them. I think they're fucking. Mm. I why I respect it is even if you don't like, I just think it's funny that like uh, someone can like. In the, in, I can't name one event in history that sort of broke the matrix in terms of like what's conventional or what's traditional like mm. like to fight like someone like that was just like like that never happened in history like even for, whatever about like Jake stuff but like yeah with Logan Paul fighting Fly, May- Fly Mayweather that didn't just break like stuff in boxing or fighting it changed like a perspective in the world of like what the fuck like because the whole world was interested in that because everyone knew who Fly Mayweather was people yeah. around the world who've yeah, never yeah. even watched a single fight and to hear that like you know like that he's fighting the best in the world like that i th- I feel like that just like had this shift in the world of like oh shit like it like it's less realistic it's a bit if someone said that 10 years ago you'd say you'd probably be put into a mental home yeah for thinking that you could be a youtuber fighting like fucking so, so, like, like if you like there's i keep seeing like these little kind of clips or whatever like i think it was only I don't know, maybe six, seven, maybe even longer or whatever. But Jake yeah. Paul was making fucking ads for Disney Channel. 
Yeah, like yeah, Jake yeah. Paul was there, like fucking pure preteen, like no facial hair whatsoever, standing yeah, on yeah. Disney Channel making stupid kids shows. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And like, I mean, like he's up there now, like, and he's getting fucking like yeah. he's fighting Tyron Woodley and Logan, his brother. Like, even though he hasn't been as active in boxing, again, I don't really follow it. Like, <laughs> he fucking fought Floyd Mayweather. Like, he yeah, got a hundred million not... quid. Like, yeah, wow. or he got something close to that. Even if, even if he got the measly payday of a million quid, like. Yeah, yeah. It does. Even if he, do you know what I mean? Like happy days. I, I would go in. I would go in against Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, all Mm. at one time, like one after each fucking round, and get KO'd. Yeah, yeah. If you give me fucking fifty quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like no problem whatsoever. And even if you get the shit bet out of you, your name is out there. That's it. That's what I'm saying. You gotta fight. You gotta fight the good guys because. Yeah. You're going to eventually like your name will get out there. If you're only fighting bums as they say, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. no one really cares. Whereas if you go against a guy that is uh very, very good, um, and even if you lose, you'll still get respect. Like I, yeah. I had I was meant to have a fight against um a guy who is like European and world champion or whatever and levels above me. Like I mean way more fights to me, yeah, way yeah. way more wins. But I said yes. Now it didn't end up happening in the end, like, but I still said yes because in my mind, if I went over and lost, I tried. And yeah, I went exactly. against one yeah, of the best. Brilliant. But I go over and win. Whoa. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, it's a win win, like Yeah. 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 And that's exactly. Just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he a... probably didn't take it because it was probably a lose lose for him. Cause I mean if yeah. he beats me, it doesn't really do much for his name was that um, the guy that like on your instagram there was an x over the thing what was that about no 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 you, uh, no i fought him i did end up fighting him. oh so just all right what happened there because i seen in your post there, so there was a poster and you crossed him out and said six days before the fight or something yeah he yeah no he pulled out basically all um right. but it all got a little bit iffy like it would like i don't know he pulled out basically on his own accord yeah and then uh then he went back into the fight and then he actually pulled out again and it was on the day of my birthday, so Tuesday. I was meant to be and fighting Jesus. that Saturday. And on that Tuesday, it was my birthday. He pulled out. The fight was off. Um, and I was f- raging, obviously, yeah. mm. um, after training for so long. And, like, I mean, he was probably the best opponent that I've faced so far. One of the best, anyway. Um, yeah. So I really wanted that fight. And uh, I basically went straight to the ship or fucking done the dog <laughs> on it there. Um, <laughs> Shit. A shitload the next day or whatever. Yeah. Then that Wednesday night, then in the middle of eating a pizza, my coach just goes, it's back on. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I was, I, I like, I, I had to do a lot now to get the weight. Did you back finish down. the pizza when you got the call? No, straight into the Oh, bin. that's heartbreaking. Oh. Yeah, straight into the That's bin. heartbreaking. I had, to, I, I, had to, I had to fucking make weight. Like, I literally fair just. Play, no, fair play for trying yeah, that way, man. That's straight into the bin. But yeah, the really fight did happen. And um, it was a very messy fight because uh, naturally yeah. I was mad at him. Um, but, TK owed him in the third like so nice. it was grand it did work so the pizza That's was worth <laughs> yeah 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 pizza must have helped me a bit, yeah, yeah. Car- <laughs> bit carb loading or whatever yeah yeah what? but, oh, it was a cunt now to, to, to cut the weight like that day then like I mean I, I don't know I had I don't know if I should say I fucking done like I had like five kilos like to go in like a day whoa oh, yeah <laughs> Like it that's was stress like, on the body like that's yeah, mad but like. again like I, I don't know did, or something oh. yeah I did it smart and again th- this is why I keep saying like Sam if like Sam was literally there for every fucking second like mm. he was staring at me like <laughs> he was making sure that everything was okay yeah, yeah. Um, he was even like he was very very close to pulling the plug on it all together like he, yeah. he was about to just say like look you can't do it yeah. um, which I do you have that mutual sorry do you have that mutual understanding like you let him do that and if you if he like, hey look i'd be mad at him but uh, like i have to resp- like but obviously like that's your le- like because there's some sort of understanding you'd be mad at him but like yeah you have but a- sam obviously knows like sam knows how much i want to fight and yeah, the same, yeah i know how much he wants to fight but at the same time yeah i'm also not going to and like he won't do the same to me like i'm not going to look at him absolutely fucking killing himself yeah just yeah. for the sake of a fight like i mean if it doesn't work out like Look, live to fight another day, as they say. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. if this fight doesn't happen, like, fine. But, like, it's not worth putting your body through mad, mad weight cuts, which yeah, I've never yeah. done. Like, even that one, like, it sounds quite nuts. But technically, I had, I had already started cutting weight before the fight was pulled. So even though I had a couple of bad days, I was still kind of Primed slightly, slightly like, on track for it. Yeah, so it yeah. wasn't... It wasn't that bad, and I was completely fine. I weighed in; it was it was fine. I wasn't like yeah. dizzy or anything. Like I really want to make that clear. I wasn't fucking. I wasn't half dead or anything. Like yeah, we don't yeah. do any of that. First of all, our coach wouldn't let us. And yeah, yeah. Like I said, Sam definitely wouldn't let us. 
Yeah. But it was just a bit of a whirlwind, like just yeah. when you're weighing in, you're kind of dehydrated. Oh yeah, you yeah, dehydrate yeah, yeah. yourself. And then when you're after you've weighed in, you're allowed to drink. You drink as much as you want, then it doesn't matter about the weight after. That, uh, yeah, it? yeah, to a certain extent. Like I mean, technically, yes. Like the the weight, the weight <laughs> does the yeah, <laughs> the weight doesn't next matter. Day. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, know, I mean, yeah. like how much weight can you put on in 24 know, hours? Know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like technically, you could. If you wanted dog. to, you could weigh in at 80 kilos and you could be in the ring at fucking 100. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think you're going to be really fucking slow. Yeah, you're going to yeah, probably yeah. be feeling really shit. Yeah. You're, you're, your stomach is probably full of so much like food and water. Yeah. You're going to be slow. Yeah. Like, it's not great. I mean, for the sake of it, like, cut your weight or whatever, like, however much weight it is. Yeah. Um, Hydrate. And then rehydrate get the good food into you it's one more day it's yeah one more yeah. day on your diet go in fucking uh fight your fight or whatever and then, then after it then you can do the dog on it yeah if yeah. you want for a day or two like yeah. again like i said you gotta be somewhere strict but the like, hydration yeah. is the important thing i suppose get, yeah get no the, you definitely yeah. need like just hydration it's more so um it, it's water and salt really yeah. that you need to get back into because you need to eliminate the salt to um to allow the water to yeah come back out again it, it's 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 weird like and again i'm not gonna like explain the process because number one i'm not exactly qualified and i also don't want anyone like to just be like oh man i might fucking do it because it's it it's dangerous when it's done wrong yeah but yeah we limit our cuts we only cut a certain amount we don't like it's nowhere near what the ufc guys are doing like i mean yeah, they could be doing fucking 10 12 kilos in a week that um, shit is so stressful for everybody now it's again mental. they've got a team of like yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything around them so it's a bit different but um we don't cut like all that way or anything like we do it very safe um like i said we take care of each other like we're yeah. monitoring each other the whole time and um it's fine a little That's bit mad. dehydrated but you're there and you you could you could have a chat like if, mm. if you if you want to but once you're in the ring you're hydrated again you're grand yeah you? once you're back in the ring like yeah, yeah you're, you're hydrated you've got the water back into yeah, you've yeah. got a bit of food but again like i said you just gotta make sure you don't have too much so you can still yeah. actually fucking move somewhere yes man i think somewhere we finish up now um what yeah so when's your fight the next fight uh, the november 20th for the are tickets on sale uh yeah yeah you can order tickets off me straight yeah. away just send me a message there on instagram it's, yeah i'll tag your instagram yeah, and stuff. Yeah. in the description um, below just message wait what is your instagram it's at, at lean.drs lean dot dot drs yeah they run yeah. the bus up or what you don't know um they're possibly a yeah, bus yeah. if there's we should go people, to that for the crack, like. all i know yeah. is i'm not organizing yeah, a bus know, because yeah, number one <laughs> it's stressful enough yeah, for me yeah. to sell the that's tickets, the only so. thing i think is more stressful than fighting another person Running in front of loads of people <laughs> organizing a boss man for people oh man yeah, but even selling the tickets like yeah, I, even yeah. for this last one like i had like i i just weighed in yeah. and i had people going man do you have any tickets i'm there i'm like man <laughs> like, I told you last week, like to get, yeah. like uh, if you, it, like no, yeah, they're yeah. gone now. Like I, I'm not dealing with any of that <laughs> shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, November 20th in Dublin for the ISK yeah. professional 81 kilo title, Irish title. Yeah, oh. just message Liam on Instagram at Liam dot drs or you can buy tickets off him in the ring when he's in the ring yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah or if, you, if you're not on instagram comment below that you're looking for him and we'll message you and figure out a way to direct you otherwise yeah. Yeah. um yeah thanks million for coming on it was a really good guys. conversation and uh yeah thanks million uh thanks to everyone for watching uh on youtube and listening on spotify and whatever other things are happening and you're using whatever senses to do it i don't know <laughs> uh yeah just hit the subscribe button if you want you don't have to you do have to. Okay, you said you do have to. Yeah, it's, yeah. The law. it's the law. I'm telling you, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a red button underneath it. It's free. And um, yeah, it doesn't really do anything other than help the ego because there's numbers and stuff. <laughs> no, it does. It helps promote It helps promote um, our podcast. It helps. The more our numbers go up, it'll help other people see it. And we want it to be the world's number one podcast. Yeah, which, with your assistance. Yeah, so Imagine being the people to say, we watched that before they sold out. You could be those people yeah, <laughs> before we sold our souls. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know. Thanks a million for watching and uh, look after yourself and bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.